In this video, we're going to learn how to count the number of words in a string using Python. So for example, let's say we have a string like this, nine words separated by spaces dash, but dashes are not words. One way to count the number of words in this string is to split the string wherever there are white space characters like space or new line or tabs. So let's do that using the string split method. Here, if we call example.split, what this method will do is split the string into a list of strings, separating the strings wherever there are white space characters. Let's actually store this into a variable called words, and we'll output words here. Now to find the number of words in the string, what we could do is find the length of this list. Let's do that too. We'll have here total words is equal to, and we'll call len and pass it words. And the len function is going to return the length of this list, in other words, the number of items in this list, which we'll store into total words. We'll also output total words down here with print total words. Now, if we save the program and try it out, we'll see our list here contains each portion of the string separated by spaces. So we have nine words separated by spaces, the dash, and then but dashes are not words. And if we find the length of this list, we get 11 here. Now, the issue is we don't want to count this dash as a word. We also likely do not want to count this number here, nine, as a word. So let's actually make some modifications to our program. The first thing we'll do is actually filter out all the punctuation marks from the string. So inside the string module, which we'll import, there's a string constant called punctuation, where string.punctuation is a string containing all the possible punctuation mark characters. We'll use this to help remove punctuation mark characters like the dash here from our string. We'll also use the string translate method. So example.translate, we'll call this method. This method is going to take example and return a new string. What we're going to pass translate is what's called a translation table, where the translation table will allow us to replace characters with other characters and remove other characters entirely, which is what we're going to do. So here we'll call the make trans string method and we'll pass in two empty strings as the first arguments. These arguments could be used to specify which characters to replace in this string and which characters to replace them with, but we're not going to use them. Instead, we're going to pass in a third optional argument, which is a string of the characters to remove entirely from the string, and we'll pass in string.punctuation because we want to remove all the punctuation marks entirely from the string. So this here is going to return a new string, which is going to be our example string, with all the punctuation marks removed. And we'll store that into a variable called after. Then down here, instead of using example.split, we'll use after.split. And we'll split the string after removing all the punctuation marks. We'll save this and try out our program. And we can see here, our list no longer contains that string made up of only the dash because the dash character was removed entirely. And now we only have 10 words. Next, let's only include list items in our count of words when those list items are only made up of alphabetic characters like the letters from A to Z. So that way we don't count this nine here in our count of words. So we'll use a list comprehension to implement this. We'll have here word for word in after dot split if word dot is alpha is true. So this is what is called a list comprehension it's going to produce a new list. Now is alpha is a string method which returns true only if the string contains only alphabetic characters, otherwise it returns false. And what this list comprehension is doing is looking at each item in our original list here. And we're calling those items word. And we're saying include word in the new list only if that word is made up of only alphabetic characters. So this here is going to be a new list made up of only the items of our original list that contain only alphabetic characters. So now if we save the program and try it out, we can see that we have a word count of nine and the string nine is no longer in our list. One more thing we could do is put this logic inside a function so we could call the function in different places in our program. Let's do that. We'll call the function itself count words We'll have the parameter text for the string, the function is passed as an argument. Then we'll take the logic here and cut it. 
and we'll paste it inside the function body here. And this time we'll call this text instead of example because that's the name of our parameter. And we're going to return the total words count. Then down here, we could call the function. So we could call count words and pass it example. And then we could output the word count here. So if we save the program and give this a try, we'll again get a word count of nine. So this is how we can count the number of words in a string using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.